Tomorrow, the men charged in Ahmaud Arbery's murder will be sentenced on federal hate crime charges. All three men are currently serving life sentences on state charges tied to the case. Ahead of that, we are hearing from Arbery's father and aunt. They spoke exclusively to 11 Alive's Don White. First victory in state court. Then history is the first federal hate crimes conviction in the state of Georgia. They feel they can always get away with that kind of stuff. All of the people give praise and honor to the Lord Most High. Yes. It's a new day, a new time now. Marcus Arbery is hopeful the three men, shooter Travis McMichael, his father Gregory McMichael, and neighbor William Ronnie Bryan will receive the maximum federal sentence for chasing down and killing his son in a Brunswick neighborhood in February 2020. It just make black people feel, you know, a little more calm because we, we went through so much, you know, to try to get equal justice. A federal jury convicted the men who are white of killing Arbery, who is black, because of the color of his skin. They both need to be ashamed of themselves. That's Marcus's reaction to the McMichaels asking not to go to state prison. Their lawyer was saying the men are afraid they'll be killed. They didn't give him no chance. So why should they have any privilege? Because if you gave a mark any privilege that day, a mark would have been living two days. I don't want to hear that. You're so bigger than bad. Take your medicine like a man. To be honest, we don't care what Travis wants. Thea Wanza Brooks is Ahmad's aunt and also wants to see the men transferred from federal to state prison. We don't have any leniency on what should happen to you when you go to jail. So you should go to state prison. You should do your state time. Whatever happens, happens. Karma's just what it is. Ahmad's family misses his big smile and huge heart as they pray for justice next week. Yes, I know forgiveness is for all, but at the end of the day, there's no mercy when you take the lives of someone else. The Arby family want 100% justice. We want him in that state prison because Ahmad is not coming back. Stay with 11 Alive for complete coverage of tomorrow's federal sentencing.